please uh, share with me how you learn about um, Myanmar hop. How? Yes. Like I started learning it when I was nine. I really wanted to learn it. And I asked my teacher and my father that I wanted to learn. But at the time, my teacher thought that I was so small that I couldn't be able to carry the hub in my arms. So he re refused it. After one month, mm -hmm. he let me mm -hmm. play the hub. Mm -hmm. That was how I get into uh, the hub. Uh, are Myanmar people um, common with hub? A lot, do a lot of people know how to play hub? And like, when did like hub become like part of the culture of Myanmar? You know, they're all Myanmar people. They know about hop, mm -hmm. but there are only few people know how to play the hop. Mm -hmm. And there are very, very few people who can really play the hop in my country. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like the national character mm -hmm. of my country, the symbol of my country. And we all know my people also accept that hop is the king of the instruments ah, in my country. I see. Yeah. I see. So, so what kind of songs do you usually play with hop, with Myanmar hop? Okay, I usually play my solo parts that my teacher composed for me. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I like to play modern sound. Modern sound doesn't mean that modern, modernized sound like this era. But we also have, in Myanmar language, we call it Kalabo. Kalabo appears after the, uh, I want to say, uh, I think that appears in very early of 1990. Mm -hmm. I left that channel. Harp is, is difficult to learn? I think so, yes. Yeah. yes. So, any, like, w did you face any difficulties when you tried to learn harp? At first. As far as I remember, <laughs> there was nothing. Okay. Oh. Because I really keen. Oh. I was really keen to learn it, oh. and I was oh, really I happy when my teacher uh -huh. let me learn it. You know, mm. after one month mm -hmm. of waiting time. Oh. You know, when I had chance to touch the instruments, I was really happy, and it was like a toy to mm. me. Was it in, um, I was in a like, Yanko Connection Facebook uh -huh. group about offering <laughs> okay. the hub lesson. Can you tell us more like what can we learn if we decide to take the course and how long should the course be and where is it? You know, I usually take uh, trial lessons. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, I took only one trial lesson to check the students if he or she has the essence mm -hmm. of learning music. Mm -hmm. But then now I took three to five trial lessons because only one time is not enough mm -hmm. to determine the people if he can do it or not. Mm -hmm. So I take three to five trial lessons first and if he or she is qualified mm -hmm. to learn and I accept mm -hmm. to teach. Oh, and okay. uh, basically I make 10 times contract mm -hmm. for each lesson. Mm -hmm. And uh, I suggest my student to take at least 20 mm -hmm. lessons. It will take time, mm -hmm. like 10 times lesson or 15 times lessons or sometimes 20 times lessons. But then they will mm -hmm. feel it. They can feel, feel it, you know, they can get, you know, doing how to say. Like to, to, whether like they like it or not or yeah. they're into it or not. They, they will become yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So where, where do you offer your lessons? I am offering the private lessons. So I usually go to the home uh, the place to give the lips lessons. Okay. Do they need to have a to have a heart, we do. Okay. Otherwise, they can't practice. Ah, okay. So our discussion. Thank you very much for your oh, time. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.